let's look at how to read and write input and output to the or from from the console into the console so let's start with this quote that I have I want to change in some pieces here I want to replace a noun I want to replace the date and I want to replace the name so let's start with the noun so I've got a standard string and I call this my noun and then I want to have an integer for the year and then for the name I can either do a string or I could do a character array I could have done a character array for the noun earlier but as well but but I want to show you how to do both of them just so you see so let's start with the standard um, string name and let's also do another one as a character array char so name two and let's make it 256, even though most people don't have names that long. First, I'm going to prompt for the name. And what I do is I type in standard C out. And I tell them to give me a noun. So I'm prompting for the noun. All right. Next, I read in their answer. So I do standard C in and I put it into the noun. At this point, I can take the noun and drop it directly into this quote right here. So let's do that with a noun right there. And then I take this one out and I put the noun in as well. And then I test everything to make sure it all works correctly. So I go ahead and run it, run this example, and I type in a noun. So let's type in computer. All right. That's not what your computer can do for you, but what you can do for your computer. That's great. Now, when I typed in computer, I typed in computer and then I press enter. The enter wasn't actually read in right here. In fact, it's still sitting there on the CN, so that could be problematic in the future. Well, let's just keep that in mind as we move through this. Next, I'm going to prompt for the year. C out. And give me the year. I should probably ask a little nicer, but that's okay. So I do a CN and I put it into year and then I can go ahead and replace this year down here with the actual year year or the year that I was given all right and then at last I want to prompt for the name so let's look at this first there are two options I can read it in as the character array, or I can read it as the string. So let's do the string first, just so you can see how that looks. And then we can see how to do it with the character array. So I do a standard get line. And I'm going to be reading in from the standard CN stream. And I'm going to be reading it into the name, full line into the name. And so now I want to put that down here as my name. Now, just remember, when I read in the year and when I read in the noun, neither one of them picked up the new line at the end. So we're probably left with the new line at the beginning of our line. So what will end up happening is well it'll probably have a blank name so let's go ahead and run that let's run this and then it says given that and i say computer year 2021 although it'll be changing in a couple days and then it doesn't even prompt me for the name there right it says well actually didn't didn't say anything either way but then I just put this name here, this blank name. All right. So then the question is, how do you get that? How do you get that one 
name there. So first standard C out. What is what is your name? In order to get it, I probably need to do something to grab that off of that line. So what I can do is I can do a standard get or cn cn get and that will read in one character which just happens to be the new line character and this works if that's exactly what you want normally what i do recommend is actually reading in entire lines all the time and parsing them but let's go ahead and just do this for now so i say that and i go ahead and i run it then i can see my noun right here so i type in computer i type in the year 2022 because that'll be in a couple days and then i type my name is john doe and now it puts that up ask not what your computer can do for you but what you can do for your computer john doe 2022. all right so now let's look at how to read in the character array if we want to do that we've already cleared out that line and the get line gets everything including the new line at the end so if I want to read in a character array, I can go ahead and prompt for it. CD, C out. What name do you want? Just because, you know, maybe I want a different name. And then I'll do a standard CN, a okay, get line. And this one, I tell it my character thing and the size. So I'm going to do the character A, which is name two, and I'll get up to 256. And then I could replace this name right here with name two, and I can go ahead and run this. So give me a noun. Let's say uh, computer 2022, my John Doe, but I really want my name to be um, Johnny Doe, Johnny Doe, and then it says Johnny Doe. So you can see that. Um, we can go through this. We can either read it in as a string with the get line, which is kind of the um, standard library get line where it reads it from CN as uh, this thing right here, or you can do it as a character array like this. So just showing you both ways, and hopefully this helps you understand how to do strings and you read in input and print out output in C++.